Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's episode, we're going over the most basic setup for the furnace and what the recent update means for its use. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. For this tutorial, we're going to need two pipe, one passive vent, one pipe valve, and one kit furnace. Also, um, I grabbed some stuff in my mining belt. I have some volatiles, oxide, and some iron, but we can put that away for now. First what I'm going to do is kind of move this stuff out of the way. Then I'm going to grab my furnace and I always like to turn it sideways here. So yeah, we'll also place it just like this. And that just allows a little easier access when you're putting stuff into it and grabbing stuff from it. Also it separates the exhaust and the input quite nicely. Okay, now we're going to grab our pipe and our valve. So on the back here you want to make sure that you're looking at the output and you will grab a corner and we'll just place this looking down. Uh, we want to place our valve right after that and then finally we will place our corner. And now there is a new feature here so I'll show you guys. Let's just say your piece of pipe Let's see if I can get it away from here now. Is you grab it and it's like that. You can now press C and it will automatically connect it to the closest pipe. And if there were to be multiple pipes here, it would connect the two together. And it just so happened to connect it exactly how I want to right now. So try using C in the future. It makes connecting stuff significantly easier. I'll place that down now. And then we can come and we can grab our passive vent and we will place this down right there. Okay. Now luckily, even with this most basic setup, we're going to be able to make most, if not all, of the different alloys in the game. But unfortunately, right now it is currently 17 degrees Celsius out, which means that if we take any of the volatiles or oxide out of our inventory, it'll melt outside. So we'll have to wait until morning to finish up. Okay, night has fallen on Mars, and that means that it is time for us to get smelting. I have switched over to my mining belt here, and we'll go over to our furnace now. Now, there was an update, so the furnace doesn't quite work the same, but it is, uh, it's not too different. So, we're going to grab one oxide, so H2O is kind of how I remember it, because it ends up making water. Um, so H or volatiles is our hydrogen, so we're going to drop two of those. So two, and we can throw that in our inventory. And because it's night and it's negative 12 Celsius, that means that this stuff isn't going to melt when it's outside. And O, oh, we only need one oxygen. Okay, so now we can combine these together and we have this. So I'll put my oxide in the furnace, and now you'll notice that it kind of just gets stuck in there. So what you need to do is just click this button. There you go. And that just allows it to melt. And now we can grab our volatiles and we can throw our volatiles in. Now this is what's a little bit different. Now when I press that activate button, it's going to melt those volatiles right away and it's also going to start the burning process. So it's a good idea to have whatever you'd like to smelt out. So in this episode, we're just going to throw some iron in there. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Now I will hit this. We'll melt the volatiles, get the fire started. We can throw our iron in there. Now we can look in our contents window, and there we go. It has produced 16 grams of iron. So we can open our mold, and it will pop right out. Now you definitely could use this furnace a little longer. There's quite a bit of pressure and temperature in there. So if you had multiple things to smelt, you could definitely keep on putting them in there until it got too cold. But if we want to go ahead and shut this down, which you will want to do before you add any more ice or oxide or volatiles, make sure to come around back here and open up this valve. And you can sit here and it is a good idea to make sure that both of these go all the way down. Okay, now you can see that our pressure dropped to 1.8 kilopascals and our temperature has dropped significantly as well. Now there is going to be some remaining because that vent is actually going to allow some of that atmosphere back in here. 
But once you get it this low, you should be all set to restart and do the process all over again. Now, if you'd like to see how to make some of the different alloys, definitely stay tuned as I'm going to have several different tutorials in the future showing you how to make each one. But I figured I'd start with showing you guys how to use the furnace. If you like this video, then please go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.